The Kanjeevaram may be a familiar silk for most well-heeled Indians. But the company that has made it accessible to the country beyond the south has to be Nalli. Today it runs 26 stores, mostly in India, and last year, more than 80 years after setting up shop, it went back home to Kanjipuram to make its presence felt. While that may have been a homecoming of sorts for Nali, what is interesting is the way it has done business, the traditional way. As the Harvard-educated vice chairman of the company explained, it starts at a very basic level at the handloom weaving centre of Kanchipuram and the weaver cooperatives from where Nali sources its saris. In Kanchipuram they weave like three saris. Uh, so uh, the warp which, uh, which goes, it depends. In some villages it's three, some it's four. This, these are handloom. Mm -hmm. So after three saris you give them the choice of changing the colour and design because these saris are so expensive you wouldn't want your neighbor to wear the same one. <laughs> okay. So, and then again, um, there are a lot of customers, a lot of these designs which went into the sari, most of them, uh, there are a lot of inputs from the customers. You know, like when they come to buy, especially for a wedding, you would, you would want a particular sari, a particular design, particular color. So what you would say is, okay, I've seen this, I've seen, they pick up like three, four saris and say, okay, I want this color, this design, you know, like a mix and match. Or they would, bring some, you know, ancient uh, pictures or photos or you know, what their parents used and said, I, I like this design, but I want it in this so color. So is that level of customization you're saying? Yes, that, that is how we built it up. But now, of course, we have so many stores. We are not doing what we did 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we used to do, like, we used to sit with the customer. The customer would say, uh, you know, this is what I want. Majority of them, when they come to buy for the wedding, now they don't have... It's not that we don't have time, they don't have time themselves. Five generations of doing business and meeting customers day in and day out has given Nalli an interesting insight into what works. And while Ramanathan Nalli may have gotten Ivy League education, he says the best lessons have been learned at the shop floor. For instance, the reason Nalli's moved out of just Kanjivrams has an interesting story behind it. Initially, when we started, it was only Kanjivram. Talk about way back. We didn't even know about other saris. But then, when we started growing, and you know, like people, when they're coming to come to Kanjivram, they, they, they kept asking us, you know, talking to me, my father, my grandfather, I don't have to step into another store to buy other saris which we have to give as gifts. If, they go for, if you go for a wedding, you have to buy a whole lot of sari. You know, you, you don't only buy for the bride. You have to gift a lot of saris. Those saris, you know, they they could they can't be expensive saris. You know, like for cotton. So, so the others are actually the others. They are not your primary focus. So that's not are, our focus. But so I don't the want others to. others yeah. that that others, uh, you know, during a wedding season, you'd want to buy. Even today, there are certain things which we don't do. Like we tried, they they want even children. You know, we don't sell children. <laughs> okay. Um, but they would come and say, I would want to buy everything from Nali. I don't want to step into another store. Like, uh, why wouldn't you have it? Because you don't have it. You're pushing me to go to another store, which I don't want to. So when it comes to saris, at least, I thought I could do a good job, like uh, trying to keep as much as possible so that, you know, they can finish shopping in one store. Today, almost 50,000 to 70,000 billing customers come into the Nali stores in cities like Delhi and Chennai every month. And you can find a wide range here, from saris that cost 500 rupees to those that cost 100,000. So how does the concept of price, product, packaging and promotions work here? And was there a thought to it when Nalli Chinnaswamy Chetty first took that journey from Kanchipuram? I, I don't think so. There was a strategy when my great-grandfather started it. He came here for a living. Okay, strategy all maybe my time or my father's time. But then what happened is somehow those days, because we are so successful, we were never forced to give any discounts. So we never gave discounts. There's no seasonal discount. Then we thought, why don't we continue that? So in the last 80 years, we don't have end of season. Nali never gives a discount. And we also came out with an ad saying, if you're thinking about discount, then it's not Nali. Because Nali, so that's one of our strategies. It's, it's very difficult for a retail industry, somebody to 
you know that you have your uh, your older stocks you have end of season sales they have sales you have sales all over right you say it's a say we, we never have a sale when others have a sale we just keep quiet <laughs> but has that paid yeah, off that's paid has that paid off yes it, it it has worked because yeah. we we have to be very careful in your merchandising very careful in what you design i have to see because if if i'm stuck with it i don't have a discount sale to get rid of it which puts a lot of pressure on you so you will have to manage your inventories you have to manage your design accordingly you can't have uh, pieces that are not selling selling and you have to be very careful so how do you go about doing that i mean if you were to step back uh, at any given month uh, what's the kind of strategy around designs in in, in terms of color combinations etc see um, i told you we've been interacting with the customer all all day long uh, now i told you it's different because now maybe they don't have the time you know uh, to come and and then it's different i mean your shopping experience itself is different it's more about glitter the the more about your presentation is more about how your store looks it wasn't then it was very simple it was just customer interaction they would come they would sit with you they would tell you exactly what you want and we used to weave it for them how can i go wrong <laughs> because i used to, it's like everything was custom made for them can't go wrong so i i never had to sit with pile of uh, non moving inventory but that was then yes not now yeah, that's the experience you know that it gave us experience like five generations gave us experience to really understand the market to give them what they want so and, and then you know hardly anything left for us to do this end and then we 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 are trying to be very careful when it comes to inventory to give them only uh, in the process maybe to an ex little extent we are risk averse in the sense that i may not uh, maybe other stores may try to do some designs or some novelty which they'll be taking a big risk mostly if you see it'll be a uh, very traditional sarees of course we do we bring out some new design but a lot of thought goes into it it's not that we are not stuck with some but we don't have a discount sale conservative is a word often used to describe nalli Despite the recent aggression it may be showing with a new generation trying to give this 83-year-old business a new dose of color. And there is reason too because the biggest threat the company faces is not competition, it is relevance. And whether this traditional 6 yards of silk can survive. More on that when we return. <laughs>